Yo, what's going on? It's D-Man. Welcome back to another NBA 2K23 video. I want to start a series on how to get these core challenges done for some of these badges because some of them take a very long time. You see, I, I shed it a little thud tier because I finally got catch and shoot gold. I couldn't believe it. It, it was a long journey. It was a grind. All right. So I'm going to tell you what I did and I want to help you all out with this because normally I just get core badges online, right? All of the core badges you can get online, except for the shooting ones. For the shooting ones, you gotta dive into my career. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you want them fast, my career is the way to go. In the comments below, let me know what core challenge you're struggling with. And I'll be sure to put out a video about it. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna play on pro 12 minute quarters, because what you wanna do is not only shoot a lot of shots, but you wanna make a lot of catch and shoot shots. And this is my badge setup for doing this. Cause I'm assuming that you have all your shooting badges you just think that catch and shoot is broken or dead eye is broken. You're thinking some of these core challenges are broken. No, they're not broken. You just need a crazy amount of shots. And once again, it's only it's only the shooting badges. I core that posterizer, no problem. Clamp breaker, almost done, no problem. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for defense. That's my least bashed area, so I don't really care about it. But something about the shooting, bro. Here's what I did. Pro, 12 minute quarters. I have on Claymore, corner specialist, guard up, catch and shoot goal, and dead eye. Once again, the goal is to make a lot of catch and shoot shots, so why not stack badges to make that easier for yourself? And if you want to know how to core out any badge, all you have to do is make it activate. So if it pops up in the top right up here, that counts towards the core challenge. In the future, I hope that we get some type of counter because it definitely went back to grand bash days. It definitely went back to the old bash days where we didn't know how far away we were from certain badges. And I know we have the bar right now, but we need actual numbers in my opinion, because I would like to know what I'm getting into. <laughs> I was trying to do this online. You're not, you can do it online. It's just going to take a lot of time. In my career, you can do this really fast. So what you're gonna do is load up my career, 12 minutes on pro and shoot the cover off the basketball, bro. Once again, you're stacking badges, so make sure you run to the corner to do this. Call for a pass, let it fly, bro. So you're getting the catch and shoot, and then you're getting the boost from corner specialist and all that. And I know it sounds really simple, but when I tell you it took me a lot of shots, it had to be around 1,000 to 1,500, bro. Let that thing fly, bro. I don't care if you're cold. I don't care if people are in front of you. It doesn't matter. Just shoot, 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 shoot. And eventually, your catch and shoot might move a little bit on that core bash challenge. Only a little bit per game, man. Um, it took me about three days to do this. I played my career about three or four hours a day, bro. I, I was grinding. I also want to talk about another in game method, which is by using team takeover. So whenever team takeover pops up, man, it's going to be so much easier. And this is why I stress like when you're bash grinding, pick the right team. I went to the Lakers because for playmaking, I could throw oops to LeBron and AD. For shooting, I have people on the court with dimer, so it makes it easier. So in team takeover, give the ball to somebody with dimer, you're gonna run the pick and pop. You do this by tapping L1, pressing and holding the icon above your player's head, and then tapping the bumper to change it to fade, and your player will pop out to the three-point line after they set the screen. All right, easy money. So I do that whenever I have team takeover, and since it's on pro, they will for sure be wide open. So whenever you have team takeover, be sure to keep this in mind. Um, get those pick and pops going with your player and you'll be able to get that catch and shoot core challenge. People ask, is it worth it playing on a higher difficulty? I don't think so. Simply because, you know, I played the rec and played my career for badge grinding on all-star and the bar wasn't moving. It's simply about quantity. That's why I say, if you want this core badge, don't even play online because I only take catch and shoot threes online. That's my job. My job is to knock down catch and shoot threes and the bar wasn't moving. You know, I wasn't getting enough work in, you feel me? It wasn't until I went to my career and started dropping 150 through 200 points a game until I saw some progress. So there you have it. I did that for, uh, I don't even know how long, man. It was a lot of time, but we finally unlocked the catch and shoot gold core challenge. Once again, if you need me to make this type of video for any other badges, definitely let me know in the comments below or tweet me. Um, let's go ahead and core that bad boy and see what we can do. I mean, we get seven points back, which is big. I have a few options here. Now, keep in mind, this is only for like pro-am. You know, I like to play fives. 
but I'm actually conflicted here. So let me know what I should do if you watch my gameplay. Um, should I just go limitless range silver? That's a really viable option, but I don't find myself shooting from limitless range that much. I can also go volume shooter hall of fame or not even, no, that's head ass. I could go volume shooter gold and agent three on silver, which would be a great setup. I said it before, but volume shooter is actually tough on 2k23. So definitely check that badge out if you haven't. Um, I also have a um, meeting magician. I can do that in volume shooter. So just let me know, like, what would you rock if you had this many points? So I hope this video was able to help you all out a little bit. You all be easy and take care. Peace.